Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a review of the Queen Jupiter Funko Pop from Jupiter Ascending. So this Jupiter Pop is wearing the wedding dress from the big wedding scene in the middle of the movie, and if you've seen the film, then you know how insane that dress and headdress were. So let's take a closer look at the headdress itself, because I think they did a really good job capturing it as far as the sculpt of it and using the uh, the sort of like clear plastic uh, to capture like the, the crystal elements of that headdress and also the way they sculpted the flowers and painted them. The paint on these flowers is really clean, um, but the sculpt on them is really solid too. Uh, taking a closer look at like the rest of her, like her head here, uh, I like the way they handled her uh, eye makeup and uh, the, the eyeballs are painted well, the lashes, the eyebrows are painted good, and mine has a pretty solid uh, line where the hair meets the forehead. And I think they did a really good job with the dress too. Uh, when I was out hunting for this in stores I saw several where the, the red paint was smeared considerably so keep your eyes peeled for that but I got a good one. Let's take a closer look at it and you can see just how you know tiny this is but how sculpted, how well sculpted all the little flowers are. You can see the little tiny ridges going along the edges of them and within them and how from the front, the paint's pretty on point. Gets a little sloppy back here. I saw somewhere sloppy in the front, but mine from the front looks great. Here's a look at all the stuff on the back. I also like the pose that she's in. I like the hand on the hip. And I think the little things on her wrist look good. I don't know what the hell they are. Bracelets, whatever. Um, I saw several, by the way, where the uh, disc the little, the disc where the head meets the neck were really, really visible. For some reason, on almost all of them, they were assembled that way. At least at all the stores I saw them at. There's also really good work going on at the back of the head here. I really dig this sculpt. All the sculpting for her hair being pinned up. All the lines for the hair grooves. All the flowers that were painted into it. Again, really clean paint lines. They did a great job painting this. I'll give you a closer look at her headdress just so you can appreciate just how well painted this is. Really solid work here. Again, I really dig the pose. I think the dress looks good. I think they did a good job sculpting it. I just suggest that if you are out hunting for this in stores, you really look for a clean dress, you really look for a clean hairline, and hopefully the neck discs aren't too bad for you. Unless you're not as neurotic as I am, then who cares? Thanks for watching.